Yay. Woo! <laughs> Can't tell we work today. <laughs> God. Oh my god. Well, uh All right, well, that was a good noise podcast. Thanks for listening. That was a great listening. podcast, guys. Um, I have been Glory and I've been your mom. And we have been the Good Noise podcast. We'll see you next week. Funny. Funny. It's so funny. It would be really funny if if we just didn't do the podcast. You know, what, this that would week, be right? that would be really funny and hilarious. I think it would be a good joke. But every single week we do that. The next week just winds up being the busiest week in existence. And yeah. then we're like, man. Then we're like here for two hours. And we're like, we actually had an interview an hour ago uh, that we missed. Because <laughs> we've been talking about Weezer for the past 35 minutes. Oh, Weezer. Oh, Weezer. Um, so, hi. Welcome to the Good Noise Podcast. I'm Shane. I'm Glory. You're actually Ben. Oh, I'm Ben. <laughs> I'm ben. I'm ben. I really wish I was recording when you said that. Yeah, I'm glad um, you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired. Dude. Um, we'll let Glory have a second to. Uh, no, I'm going to be like this the entire time. <laughs> Nothing's um, going to change. This past week, uh, like in case you missed it, Corona. Uh, but a year ago on the 31st, everyone and their mother bought tickets or attempted to buy tickets to see my chem and also walls yeah was released yeah <laughs> and then this 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 other topic that i want to bring up is going to be a perfect segue into our first one i promise um a year ago on january 30th i saw sleeping with sirens uh set it off belmont point north and the ones you forgot, but forget that I said the ones you forgot because it's gonna ruin my segue. Um, so I you saw those... just ended with yeah, but they were there, and I feel bad like not including them. No, no, like you could have switched them. Like you could have said the ones you forgot, and then yeah, but uh, fine. It's okay, okay got to start wanna, all do over again. Do you want to do it again? So yeah, I just saw... do it again. <laughs> when? Year, what day was it? Like, a year ago there. on January thirtieth, I saw Sleeping with Sirens, Set Off, Belmont, the ones you forgot, and Point North. Um, uh, no, no, I still have a story. God, the, one the, segue <laughs> for the, the segue is we're going to talk about Point North right after this, Glory. Okay. I had to give away my segue now, goddammit. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure it was obvious when you redid it to put Point North at the end. <laughs> so anyways, I went and saw them, and I had to leave to get home so I could take my physics midterm the next day. Uh, I remember that, you told me that. Yeah, yeah, that was my story. I went to a show, and then I bought uh my chem tickets like 12 hours later and i was like oh my god i'm gonna see my favorite band and then like no i'll see them in 2046 um so speaking of point north they dropped a single yeah speaking of my chemical romance we had them on the podcast today that's why we're so wiped out we did a three hour (laughs) round table discussion with the boys about uh the paper kingdom and when we can expect that release uh it comes out tomorrow it does spoiler alert so, uh, anyways, speaking of Point North, they dropped a single called Lifelines with, uh, fuck. I, can K- you not read? K- Kavos? Kavos? Sure. Kazo. 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 And Black oh, Tigers. Ka- where'd you get Vos? Kavos? Uh, uh, dude, <laughs> dude, dude, dude. <laughs> and, it's okay, I get it. <laughs> and Sorry. Black Tiger Sex Machine. I love that name. Ayo, what happened to my computer? Um, so we're not going to introduce ourselves because we already did that. I'm going to have to edit the two together, which okay. is so upsetting. Um, yeah. So my funny segue, speaking of Point North. Is your mic broken? I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, no. And if it okay. if it's broken for you, it won't be broken for Twitch because okay, I, like, I did a nine gajillion things to yeah. fix that. Uh, oh, yeah, it's good so Point North dropped a, a single with Keizo and... A black tiger sex machine called lifeline now we finally get to talk about said single um when i first listened to this i was like oh my god this is awful and i <laughs> i i like a couple of things that Kazo has done uh they did a song with um bad omens and oh. it's not what bad omens typically does but i thought it was pretty pretty good for what it was and then i i, I listened to this again because like i gotta formulate an opinion that isn't this is fucking awful mm-hmm. and i think it's okay um yeah. it's out there for point north but 
and I, I wouldn't listen to it again if it was like if I could listen to brand new vision or this song mm-hmm. uh, and this song came on or even if the song comes on after I finish listening to brand new vision I ain't listening to it mm-hmm. uh, but I thought it was okay it's not as bad as I originally thought it was going to be I thought it was going to come out a lot better though I was I was very surprised when I listened it was the first song on the playlist so <laughs> I was like Point North does techno now <laughs> Um, or what is it, dubstep? I don't know what yeah. it is, but just techno, dubstep, EDM, that stuff. I didn't expect it at all. Um, for what it was, it was good. I just, it's not my genre. It's not um, Point North's genre either. No, but I thought it was, I thought it was good for what it was. Basically mm-hmm. what you said, I don't think I'd listen to it again. Cause it's, unless like I, I was in that mood to listen to techno, which is never. I don't think I'm ever in that mood, but if. If that ever happens, that's the song for it because it was good for techno. Well, but I listen, just... like if you're in the mood to listen to electronic music, like Daft Punk is the way to go. That that's that's I've what I tried. did. I've tried to listen to Daft Punk. I just can't get into them. I I was really big into them before I found the sad emo music. Um, mm-hmm. but oh my god, yeah, didn't you have like a Daft Punk server? Yeah, I still yeah, do. I remember that. Oh, um, you do. I think yeah. you're in it. No uh and <laughs> i thought you said you thought no you're still in it i th- I thought you said i thought you deleted it like no nah, i said i thought I, yeah. I think i'm still in it you're yeah just, no no <laughs> nah. i didn't invite you <laughs> <laughs> no nah, you're not in the cool kids club um yeah i got like a whole collection of their shit and everything yeah. um but i don't listen to them nearly as much as i do anymore yeah see i grew up listening i grew up for like a phase i grew up listening to do you remember not L- lmfao but lmao it was like the it was like i'm gonna send you it was i fuck, can't remember who the fuck um, is lmao all i know it is was, LMFAO. i think it was a song um it was like the uh, was, no not lmfao stop <laughs> <laughs> um anyways i'll i'll continue so i can look for this um a day to remember released a new single everything we need i thought this was good i i get so many bands mixed up so for some reason i thought a day to remember was like heavy they um, are they are so yeah. this was like soft yeah this is like yeah. that acoustic track off the album which is a strange it's always a strange strange tra- trend strange, strange pick strange choice mm-hmm. to me for like a single but they've already released half the album as a single yeah. so at that point you're just your label's just telling you, you got to put a song out yeah um they also did a live session like an acoustic one oh. um and put the audio on spotify but that wasn't enough to be like oh we're gonna listen to it so we can say wow this was acoustic what the fuck is the point of that um i thought the song was okay not my favorite single brick wall is starting to grow on me though and mind reader is now my least favorite single um brick wall is not good but mind reader just doesn't stand up to the rest of the singles right now Mm -hmm. and i don't have an opinion on everything we need because it's slow (laughs) i thought it was good it sounded like a a song you would hear at camp you know yeah it's just like kind of we're all in this together yeah <laughs> that's it um, I don't, i'm still looking for this stupid song because it was like you know that you know that i know you do once i show you you're um, gonna be like oh. so nice dropped a single a 20 20 dollar mints uh they had this on their soundcloud forever and finally put it on streaming and i have i think it's six words for this uh it it needs to be longer uh, that might have been five that might have been six i don't know i wasn't counting but that's that's what i have that's my review of this song it needs to be longer because it was heavy and different from nice and i i like mm-hmm. this version of nice i mean current version of nice is also good i like their album but i like this song a lot I agree. This song is very good, and I agree it does need to be longer because, what was it, like a minute and 20 seconds or yeah. something? Yeah, I was like, whoa, yeah. this is heavy, and then it was like, it's over. I'm like, wait exactly. a minute. I looked up, and I was like, yes, it's finally the nice song, and then it was gone as soon as it came. Started. So, it, yeah. it, it was just getting going. Exactly. I was, so do an extended version. Do that. That'd be cool. Um, Cave Town and Kina. I think I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I mispronounced that. I'm sorry. Uh, dropped a new single, Sharpeners Call... Oh my God. Sharpeners is calling me again. I'm pretty sure that's Sharpeners is calling me again. I don't think that's proper, but... It, no, I'm pretty... 
sharpener i'm pretty sure it'd be sharpener is calling me again yeah because then it's that's isn't that s possessive so it's like the sharpeners like like you put apostrophe s for like the cat's cradle or whatever i it's possessive haven't done grammar since like fourth grade so i don't know i'm pretty sure that's it's what the sharpeners is calling me again i thought it was cave town that's Uh, it was cave town it's their sound that's it it's and Cape Town's <laughs> had like an awful lot of features on yeah. the tracks lately. Like, is he just bored? Like, is I think, it... yeah. I mean, it's COVID. Yeah. So, so, um, so I, yeah. I, it's, I thought it's... the song was all right, though. It's exactly. I feel like you're warming up to Cape Town. It you. was one of the better Cape Town songs I've actually listened to, out mm-hmm. of like all the singles that I've been forced to listen to uh, so far. It's gotten to the point where he's in my uh, new releases for you on Spotify. Nice. I hate it here. Um, but I just I thought this was all right, listenable. Unlike some of them, this one was a little bit faster. This was like heavy metal for Cave Town, man. Like holy shit! Oh my god! I was like, wow, wow. a Cave Town stand's gonna be able to listen to this. It's a little too heavy, yeah. um, <laughs> a little too fast. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah. I have uh, to blow my nose. I'll be two seconds, but continue. Okay. I'm still here. Uh, so Glory's still here. Uh, Charming Liars dropped a single, Pieces. We interviewed Killian. It's on our YouTube channel. You can go watch it. We talked about their single "Losers." Um, all I did was plug. Good, I I heard banger. Uh, so what do you think of "Pieces" by Charming Liars, Glory? I thought this was good. It was Charming Liars. I enjoy Charming Liars stuff. I'm sorry, I'm clicking through it again because it's a long playlist. So sometimes I oh, it's been you know, longer though. <laughs> I know, I know, but it's like it helps me to to refresh. Yeah, this was good. This yeah. was a really good song. I really enjoyed it. Um. I'm going to look through their discography really quickly. Yeah. But this was oh. really good and it fits very well. From- oh, in the reflection of blood. Yeah, because I remember I had a problem with the album cover because it's so like bright and then it's like in the reflection of blood. It looks like it should be like like black and white or something. <laughs> like fire and blood. But um, it's a little flower. No, this was good. I enjoyed this. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, this I enjoyed the song too. I really um, liked it. Charming Liars smacks. So yeah. uh, this was no exception. Uh, I think Losers might still might be my favorite single though. Losers was yeah, Losers was good. Yeah, mm-hmm. so true. Oh, this is me. Uh, Stick to your guns released a new single, Amber. Um, I've heard Stick to Your Guns thrown around a couple of times, and I mean, granted, an acoustic single, yeah, isn't the one to be like, oh my god, this is my introduction to Stick to Your Guns, but this is what my introduction was. Yeah, uh, I thought this was all right. Um, acoustic song, listenable. It checks off all the boxes for a good acoustic song. Good and listenable. Yeah, I thought it was really good. It's I like acoustic, but yeah. some I like some acoustic. I'm more selective now. But for this, it was very good. I enjoyed it. I really like the album cover. It's so cute and simplistic. I really like it. Um, it was a good song. Again, as you said, it was a pretty good um introduction to their their sound because yeah. it's not so it's not overproduced where it's like oh my god I can't hear you. <laughs> so it's it, it's a good stripped back version. I mean, of yeah, just... yeah. This isn't their sound. Their sound is like in your face. But uh, this was this was nice. Yeah. Roy just pogged. What are you pogging about over there? I'm on YouTube because I'm trying to find the song. <laughs> and my um, the first thing on my home page is guinea pig climbing upstairs. So nice. Um, so che- Chevelle dropped a single, Peach. Um, I have heard Chevelle's name thrown around a lot. I mm-hmm. was like, oh my god, this is some stupid boomer hard rock band mm-hmm. um and it wasn't <laughs> so you get I'm points very... for that right away yeah <laughs> i don't know i like this song um i like i said i've heard their name thrown around a lot and this is the first time i've listened to them at least like consciously being like i'm gonna listen to a chevelle song uh mm-hmm. and i like this um a lot so mm-hmm. that's cool yeah i did enjoy this Again, it's not my genre, but if I were to listen to metal, yes, okay, then this would be the type of metal I listen to because it's not like they're screaming one hundred percent of the time, but it's also still like heavy. So. Yeah, if we want to get really specific, it's like alt metal. Okay, that's too much. Let's just, <laughs> let's just work on 
metal right now, and then then we'll go into little branches. Okay. Um, Rob Rob Zombie released a single, "The Eternal Struggles of the Howling Man." Didn't he Auga in this song? Did he what? Didn't he Auga in the song? <gasps> yes, this was the one where I was like, he really said Auga. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure he was saying like something about a girl. I I don't know, but I heard a wooga. So that alone, ten out of ten thumbs up. Best song twenty twenty one. Um no, best song in twenty twenty one right now goes to Not My Problem by Escape the Fate and I Will Die on This Hill. Okay. Um I I like this song uh, a lot more than the first single he put out. Mm-hmm. That one was uh questionable. <gasps> at best i found it yeah Gwen must have found her silly song um so yeah that's all i have to say i mean i like this song a, a lot more than that first single that that's bonus points now glory's sending me said song and yes. i will not listen to it until later no 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 no. it's okay just listen to it now just li- like a, a two seconds glory two glory shane it's very important <laughs> Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I didn't know exactly. the name of it though. Didn't exactly. like didn't like Leafy use that in his outros or some shit. Like everyone, their mother used some sort of remix of that. Yeah, everybody used this one. It's yeah. coming back, actually. Yeah, I'm like, I know that beat, but at like a different remix Tempo. from yeah. um Leafy's outros or something, which is yeah. not something I want to talk about. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, no. Pale Waves dropped a single You Don't Own Me. I like this song as well. Um, Pale Waves is another band I've heard a lot about and finally started listening to because of their upcoming record. Um, so yeah, this song was good, and so was their last single that they put out uh, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, um, I'm gonna say the exact same thing I said about them last time we spoke about them. They have this like 2010 feel, uh-huh. and it's great, and I love it so much because we need to bring that sound back. Um, without the like- misogyny. Without the misogyny, I was gonna say that, um, but this is very, very good. I enjoyed it. I'm very excited. You said an album uh-huh. record, yeah. yeah. I'm excited for that because then it's just gonna be more of this. Yeah. And thank you. I, I mean, that. if misogyny bad, why 2010's metalcore so good? <laughs> I stole that tweet from uh, Yasmin. I love Yasmin. They're amazing. They're amazing. Um, Rebecca Black released a single, "Girlfriend." Haven't heard that why name in a while. Why was this song? <laughs> so good i know I've, i watch her on tiktok she's she's funny on tiktok but why is this song so good why like, is this song better than friday okay i wouldn't go that far <laughs> <laughs> no this song is good friday is a banger horrible, absolute horrible banger song. absolute um, banger <laughs> um, but this was good i really i actually could listen to this rather than friday where it's just like a haha i'm listening to a funny song i had a thousand plays on friday watch me you're good. I that mean, might... you took you took Sophia the first from me, so might as well take that too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I I knew like Rebecca Black did music, yeah. but um, I didn't like follow it until I we followed her on Twitter. And I was like, wait a minute, she's putting a song yeah. out. Yeah. I wonder if this will be good or not. And um, I threw it on here for the shits and giggles. So I was like, this can't be any good. And then it started. And I was like, wait a fucking minute, Why this is good. Mean? Yeah. The Friday Girl is actually making good music uh so i enjoyed this good job, Typi- Rebecca. typically don't podcast. like typically don't like just straight up pop but um this this was good it was a step up multiple steps up <laughs> from friday i uh, know i would say it's a couple steps down actually friday's like uh, up here yeah I girlfriend agree. is like here at it's like, like uh, surface level yeah yeah i yeah. agree i agree okay. i take my my statement back thank you uh so glimmers and lost Bo- lost body dropped a single not good at goodbyes um i've seen a lot of glimmers on the timeline uh when they put out their ep um which i listened to and then was very excited for this um so i've been very excited for the single pogging as they would say um so (laughs) 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 pogging as they would say in anticipation for the single uh Mm -hmm. and yeah this single was very good i enjoyed this a lot and then i went ahead and listened to their ep today just because i could yeah um i liked how this song progressed from kind of like an acoustic to then build up to like the drums and 
just all the instruments that's that was really bad but i thought it was really good i enjoyed it and you said ep is coming soon there's an ep in april and then they put one out in october yeah i saw that one yeah yeah i'm very excited for this one i know you've wanted to get them on the podcast for a while so i get it now yeah (laughs) i get it yeah i'm excited now all right um utmost dropped a single big dose that's very fun to say oh jesus christ i like the song a lot yeah it was heavy sorry i I skipped to it and i was like oh i remember this one yeah it was heavy um i like heavy (laughs) (laughs) um it's heavy and it's good for what it is because i don't listen to this genre because it scares me um but shayton liked it i liked it i did yeah because he listens to that stuff he's headbanging to it now he's no, like, no okay. i'm just i'm just shaking my head oh, and it looks like i'm headbanging i can't listen to, wake to anything because <laughs> i'm streaming that's why we're gonna get copyright claimed because i played two well, seconds of that stupid beat it's gonna be okay they're gonna be like oh my god thanks for the promo of good noise podcast oh my god you guys are so rich and famous can we come exactly. on the podcast exactly um speaking of coming on the podcast royal hearts dropped a single these words have weight heavy as shit i enjoyed it 11 out of 10 holy fuck it was very good again i'm not the biggest fan of this genre because it's simple i listen to harry styles <laughs> i listen to one direction that shows what i listen to. yeah this is this is so, not glory genre at all no um but again for what it was it's very good she's trying to um uh separate just my taste in music to actually listen to this it's good it's good would i listen to it again i don't think so simply because I, it's not my genre but shane really liked it it started out, i was like holy fuck this is like brutal heavy exactly like, wow. it kind of like literally like socks you in the face as yeah. soon as it starts which is good it grabs your attention like right away so yeah. good song good my song. subwoofer had the floor rocking like holy fuck oh my god oh my god uh downer inc dropped a new single home okay listen i have not liked a single thing that kellen quinn has put out solo wise um that ep wait really that i liked the ep that ep was garbage i liked the ep um and i mean the christmas song that he did was okay and um so was that other cover that coldplay one but like in terms of original tunes this is his best right here mm-hmm. uh this is like almost gossip era sleeping with sirens which is not good in terms of sleeping with sirens discography because like this sound and then they've got all these metalcore post-hardcore albums surrounding that um mm-hmm. but i i enjoyed gossip for what it was so to hear him do that again I, I i guess that might have been the sound that they wanted to like kind of move towards and the fans were like this sucks so kellen was like i'm just gonna start a solo project to make it sound like gossip do it myself yeah yeah so yeah. um yeah and he's got the loyal supporters that listen to it anyway so yeah i, I like this finally. i also liked it it was it was more poppy right mm-hmm. yeah i enjoyed this i liked his ep i probably shouldn't say that because kellen is god that's such a disappointment you know yeah for some reason in my head i was like no he'd never do anything and then shane was like oh did you know he has allegations and i was like what okay sure um but this was good i liked it and it sucks so (laughs) that's all i had to say your turn uh every time i die dropped a single a w o l a wall a wall a W O L. I didn't want to fuck anything up, <laughs> so I was gonna okay. just bell it. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I like this song a lot, uh, a lot more than the first single on that double single that they put out. That one was not good. The second mm-hmm. single on that double single was good. Yeah. Uh, and this song was also good, so I'm excited for I think the album that they're putting out. Um, and Jackson from Gold Flame was like. <gasps> You should listen to them more and then get them on the podcast. So that's where we're at right now. And that's where I'm at with Every Time I Die. <laughs> yep. Solid. I feel like this song, this song was good. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's like on the the very fine line of metal 
and also just rock yeah like punk it's like it's trying to be a little metal with like the screams and stuff but everything else isn't heavy enough to be considered metal does that Mm -hmm. make sense yeah um so i liked it because of that because it's like it's not like kicking you in the face but you're still able to get all that energy from the track Mm -hmm. so yes i enjoyed this more people should do stuff like that because i like it <laughs> just because, um, just as glory from Good Noise podcast like likes it. it. <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> Papa Roach and Jairus Johnson dropped a new no, dropped a reimagined version of Last Resort. I didn't hear a difference in this song. I don't listen to Papa Roach. I just heard the. I don't. I, that's it. <laughs> um, <laughs> it a, <laughs> when I first listened to the song, I was like, "Wow, why?" why why the feature Mm -hmm. um and then it kind of grew on me because jaris johnson just kind of sounds like the papa roach dude with like a little bit more rap to it Mm -hmm. so like it pretty much sounded like last resort with like nothing changed so it's like okay i can get behind this i don't know wait so it sounded like it sounds like it sounds like it sounds like last resort except you're giving someone else a little bit of the money when you stream it okay yeah it sounded like last resort because they just wanted to republish it there wasn't actually a feature on it they just wanted, <laughs> they they just, just wanted to boost they just it paid someone to show up for the music video <laughs> literally oh my god yeah. yeah i mean i saw the pulses guys on the timeline being like wow more bands should do pulses. this i'm like yeah i mean sure Except have a feature that you can actually pick the voice yeah, out. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's... I, I don't know. I'm like, not a Papa Roach stan, so like, I'm not able pa- to be like, this is so new. Papa Roach doesn't have to, like, redo one of their songs, like, redo this song out of all the songs they have to, like, mm-hmm. put it back in the spotlight or anything. It's... I, I don't get it. For some reason, I thought Papa Roach was one dude in, like, a leather jacket um but it's four dudes four dudes in leather, in leather jackets, jackets. <laughs> <laughs> why did i think it was like one person i thought his name was like papa roach like but it's four pe- okay yeah. it's four people okay yeah good to know your turn uh so the vons dropped an ep a rom-coms and takeout um i don't see what glory said about this it's a cute little ep I like this. I don't know. It's good. Uh, yeah, it was cutesy. It was adorable. It was fun to listen yeah, to. It was. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. You said everything I was going to say. It's cute. It gave me like, not like 80s, but like 90 vibes. Mm-hmm. Like the, it, so I really enjoyed that because it was just modern 90s vibes. Yeah. So it's like it had the production and it had the good lyrics. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. But it was a new take on it, and I really enjoyed it. Also, again, the cover art makes me happy, makes me smile. Good yeah, job, guys. Cover, the cover art's good. Mm-hmm. They signed to Equal Vision Records, though, and this is different from what Equal Vision typically puts out. Really? Yeah. I mean, Equal Vision borders more on like that pop punk, whereas this um, is like mm-hmm. indie. And they also signed a podcast, so I guess they're just doing whatever the fuck they want over there. Dude, they should sign us. Wait. They, they should. Let me let me add them. I mean, real quick. if like, yeah, <laughs> and nothing. <laughs> I had nothing of substance to say, so okay, I simply did not. Um, Weezer dropped Wait, an this album. Is mine. Weezer, Weezer dropped an album. Okay, your mom. Human. <laughs> no, Weezer that's the next album. Your mom. <laughs> Wait, album is equal? Called... Is equal visions the poopy one? Water they're, parks. They're the ones that water parks had a problem with but literally no one else has had a problem with so wait I, is it just because equal visions basically has their music licensed because water parks made it under them and then water parks is like no water, that's ours water parks is mad because they signed to a label and a label did what a label does which yeah. is own your masters yeah. and water parks doesn't like that so that's why that's why parksies think equal vision poopy See, I didn't know that, so I just thought e- Austin says equal visions poopy, so I guess equal visions poopy. So okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'll tweet at them. I'm gonna say sign us right now. So, anyways, the Weezer album. Um, I enjoyed Weezer. I enjoyed the single when we listened to it. Uh, I was like, but I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this album because that mm-hmm. that single was definitely a little out there. Um, I enjoyed the album. 
uh, I think I'm going to enjoy Van Weezer a little bit more because uh, this one was a lot more like laid back yeah. uh, in terms of typical Weezer sound because uh, I haven't listened to much Weezer but like all it takes is listening to a couple of Weezer songs to know what Weezer sounds like um, so this was definitely different mm -hmm. um, but I enjoyed it uh, yeah. everything kind of flowed together nicely uh, and it wasn't too long Yes, uh, I enjoyed this album. Again, you're right. It did flow very nicely. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure a couple of them had transitions, which was awesome. Like the third track into the fourth track had a transition. I might have had that off one number or whatever. It was very good. I enjoyed it. As you did say, it was a bit toned down uh, opposed to Van Weezer, which is more of an alternative take mm -hmm. because it's Van Weezer. It's whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a but... fucking awful title. <laughs> horrible with the cover I just, uh, anyways um, you think the you think the year delay they would make would, a they new would cover? redo it right right it's so, no but they looked at it and they're like no 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 this good. is good that's good at least they didn't go the all american rejects route, oh fuck you know? well, all american rejects like holy shit we have a single dropping in five minutes five we minutes. need cover somebody art. gets snapchat um and, just... and weezer weezer's label was like hey we're announcing that tour in a week you guys have to get this album like ready and they're like well all exactly. the graphic designers are booked up working on the uh Lightning father of background. all no they're working on the father of all cover art right now every single graphic designer ever oh, gosh, put that, that put that cover horrible. art together Absolutely so they horrible. they went into paint and they picked out the most basic background and put a lightning mm -hmm. bolt and wrote yeah. out van weezer van weezer amazing but the way that they sat in the studio mm -hmm. and probably had like a list of names mm -hmm. for the album and the one they came down to was van weezer <laughs> shows this band needs a fucking break yeah they they need to take a nap and, you know, yeah. get some new ideas. He's Van Weezer. We're not even talking about OK Human. Cause... Because I don't have much to say about it. I could go on and on about Van Weezer, though, and we haven't yeah. even heard it. Exactly. Because it's, I don't know. I'm, I, it was pleasant to get another album from Weezer before Van Weezer. Because it's mm -hmm. like, hey, here's something for your time. Because you expected this last year, but it's OK. Um, It was nice. It was a good album. Van Weezer's probably going to be better though because mm -hmm. you could tell this was just a little bit of a oh look R rivers is sitting down with a guitar and they're all happy well not happy and um, like fuck computers man like, and technology uh, computer, radiohead and, and <laughs> <Radiohead -er>. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah it's um it was an album van weezer should be better i would like to think so because it's more rock but uh change the title yeah uh the sonder bombs mm -hmm. dropped an album cloth bound uh i've heard a lot of talk about this on the twitters and um i was like yeah that looks nice it looks exciting uh and then didn't listen to it so <laughs> <Yeah>. um <laughs> it, it kind of like it was stuck in my head though so when i was looking for things to put on the playlist like that was like in the front of my mind i was like okay fine we'll put it on there mm -hmm. and um i like really really enjoyed this you know i like something when i tweet about it how much yeah. i'm enjoying it when i'm only I like two or three songs in mm -hmm. i i just started a record i was like nah man this this record's fucking fantastic um mm -hmm. so that that's what i have to say this record is fucking fantastic from front to back I completely agree. This album was very good. I didn't expect it to be <laughs> this good because yeah. it kept my kept my attention the entire way through, which is starting to be a bit harder because of the pandemic. It's just yeah. Anyways, um, this <laughs> is very no good. Attention span anymore. <laughs> oh my god, it's horrible. Um, <laughs> this is very very good. I enjoyed it a lot, and I'm definitely going to revisit it. And when I say that on the podcast, I'm usually lying. Not usually lying, but 95% of the time you're lying. I just, <laughs> no, I just forget because we have other things to do. But this what one, I'm definitely to going to. to make a better attempt to revisit it. And that's it. Oh, beep, beep. Um, the song, oh, okay. The Stay Awakes <laughs> um, released an album, Pop Dreams, with a Z. Yes, like no coincidence with the Z. Uh, yeah. oh, I like the, yes, yes, yes. I like this record too. Um, but it, it just screamed like they call it pop dreams, but it screamed like pop punk at yeah. me. Like yeah. just just straight up like the most two thousands early two thousands mm -hmm. pop punk ever. 
know, and honestly, the best pop punk era, yeah. I should say. Yeah. And and honestly, I can enjoy that because there's not a lot of bands uh, still doing that well. Um, so I, yeah, I like it's like they never left. It was yeah. good. It was really yep. good. Um, they should have put like a little brackets punk, so then they could have kept everything, but just so it's pop punk dreams. Um, that's my only contribution to this whole thing. <laughs> it was good. It was, he said exactly early two thousands pop punk, which was very good. Yeah, um, there there were a couple of tracks uh, where I was like, oh sweet Jesus, this is still going. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because like we're talking, it's pop punk. So like it's supposed to be quick in your face and then it's over and, and then, then it's done and, and then, then you're like what these, happened? A couple of these were like still kind of going. I was like, okay, we could have ended this like thirty seconds ago, a minute ago. That's my only gripe though. Uh, mm-hmm. Other than that, I enjoyed the record. Yeah. Um, but most songs nowadays have those songs where it's just like this oh, should have been over yeah. 30, 40 seconds ago. <laughs> yeah, but they just want to keep going. And you're like, oh keep man. Going. You're like, please stop. But um, overall, this album was good. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, so the Killers bad dropped the deluxe <laughs> edition of their Grammy-nominated, award-winning album. I'm Wait, was that actually kidding? No. Okay, it good. Was I was awful. about to say. Uh, imploding the Mirage. This album. Let's just. The album itself is garbage. Okay. Horrible. The bon- The bonus track. The new track that we got. Three. Is, was three. Well, no, there were two different versions and then there was one new one the new track is one of the better songs that is on this album i was gonna say that it's their best song off the album that song outsold the entire thing yeah like that that should have made the cut somewhere and i think the (laughs) opener on this album too was good but pretty much everything else lost me um and then we got the nine millionth version of caution which is not the best song on this fucking album. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then Blowback, which was an awful song already. <laughs> yeah, and they just made it worse. Somehow, they just made it somehow. country. They made it more country than it already was. It was really... I skipped it. I got like 30 seconds in and I was like, I, I can't. Yeah, it was, it was interesting. Um, but all in all, the only, the only good thing out of this was honestly the, the bonus track. Mm-hmm. Uh, the actual like new track that we got um and that's the only the only thing worth visiting off of the entire record uh not just because you got nine million remixes of caution and then this this revamped whatever the hell version we got here and then just don't even waste your time with blowback um because it's just bad like that's something you would hear on like um boomer radio yep like driving down like an abandoned highway at like 3 a.m yeah this is the song that would come on not an aesthetic in an aesthetic no. way no, no this is like you're scared for your life and then like, this is the only channel on. that's working yeah and you're like and oh my god on. not this fucking song and you turn it off and then a clown exactly. pops out of the back of your trunk and you're like oh and my god i'm die. dying to yeah. the killers right now which blowback. is the worst thing <laughs> <laughs> blowback out of all the not songs even like mr brightside <laughs> yeah, you're, you're dying to their worst song yeah you're dying to blowback right now how yeah. does it feel um, horrible it feels awful uh so <laughs> that is all the tunes we have to talk about today all the toony tunes um i got deep plugs i spit all over the place yeah uh, I, you, I didn't see but i heard you can so. follow us on twitter we're funny good underscore noise <laughs> underscore cast you can follow us on instagram uh, we're not as funny good noise podcast we have facebook now it's good noise pod uh it's just the, it's just everything we post on Instagram. It's just the Instagram, except it's on a boomer platform, mm-hmm. so we can really just branch out. Yep. Um, we got a Twitch. If you're not watching the stream on here, it is Good Noise Podcast. You can subscribe. You can follow. You can do whatever the fuck you want. You can just go look at it. Uh, it's there. Uh, we got a YouTube. We got about to hit 230 subs. So uh, we're putting out content every single day. Uh, we're pumping out content better than some of these five million bajillion sub youtubers um and it's really good uh we got spotify apple music whatever the fuck you can go check it out hyper co uh backslash forward slash uh good noise podcast <laughs> <Not both of> those. <laughs> and uh we got a band camp good noise records dot uh all the merch is sold out uh because we did a merch drop and it's all gone every single yeah, last piece gone. of it 
Uh, but we got we got some we got some digital albums. Uh, you can buy those. They go to charity. It's really swag. Uh, Glory's got your important plugs, and then I'll try my best not to make it your mom joke because I already made one at the beginning of the stream. Mm -hmm. I'll make I'll make it for you. It's okay. Oh man. Um, <clears throat> I would like to start this off with uh, Frick Marilyn Manson. Um, that's it. If you listen to him, stop. Or at yes. least like rip his music, blah, 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 rip his music <sighs> off the internet, so you're not giving him money. What were you yeah. saying? Fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah, I like uh, I the just... first time I saw him, I was like, oh, you did something, didn't you? Yeah, he, but... he just looks icky. You I know, mean, the best the best thing to come out of this is that his label dropped him. Yes, yeah. finally, yeah. which is dude. not something that you see very first... often. Yeah, dropped yeah. him and then immediately stopped selling all of his stuff and said they'll stop promoting the album and everything. So, I mean, granted, his label not promoting his not very good album isn't going to mm -hmm. kill his career. So we got to keep going here. Uh, mm -hmm. But this is just hopefully the start of him finally like living in a ditch somewhere. Um, Please. Because we all know he probably won't get arrested because no. that's how our legal system is. But hopefully he's, he's like rich. living. Yeah, hopefully he lives in a ditch somewhere because he blows cool. all his I'd money. Like to see that. And then yeah. he has to go live in a ditch because his label stopped promoting his bad album. Which was horrible. For, it was like not good. It tanked. It yeah. tanked. God, that was. It, was, it even got a Target edition, man. Like, come on, you can't fuck that up. How did get a Target up. edition? Because uh, he's Marilyn Manson. That's oh, why. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 um. Anyways, um, it's Black History Month. Happy Black History Month. Um, educate yourself on stuff that's happened because your history books aren't going to tell you everything. I was on Twitter. And I read a thread and I was like, that couldn't have happened. That's really graphic. That's it wasn't in my history book. And I looked it up. It did happen. So educate yourself. Um, do some research because a lot of bad things happen and it's better to be educated than just be like unaware or selectively unaware. Like, no, I don't want to look at that because it's bad. Um, it happened. And if you have the option to educate yourself um black lives matter wear a mask i would like to see my friends so <laughs> that'd be cool yeah um, I'd, I'd like to see more people than my girlfriend honestly <laughs> yeah because it's just you and sam that's your bubble right now yeah. so yeah my bubble is my family that's cute yeah i haven't i haven't left the house in like a week now so that's really cool um anyways yeah just wear a mask that's all i have to say like, dude, I I want to go to Tyler the Creator's Festival next year. And at this rate, it looks like I'm going to have to push in another year. You'll be able to fly out. You'll be living in your own house by the time that Literally, you can go to dude, Tyler the Creator's Festival. I was thinking about it. I'll probably be graduated by the time COVID's, like, completely over. Isn't yep. that weird? Yeah. Cringe. Uh, Cringe anyways, moment. yeah, that's, uh, that's all I have to say. Banger. Uh, so know your mom joke tonight. I have been Glory. I have been Shane. No, and, and Ben. And Ben. I've been ben and uh, Shane. And we have been the Good Noise Podcast. We'll see you next week for more Poggin.